Military rule in Nigeria. Historical background. The emergence of the first military regime in Nigeria took place on January 15, 1966, orchestrated by a group of five majors, led by Major Chikuma Kadunan Ziagwu. This coup marked a gruesome event in Nigeria's political history, as it resulted in the deaths of prominent politicians, including the Prime Minister, Alhaji Tafawa Baliwa, Premier of the Western Region, S.L. Akintola, the Minister of Finance, Chief Festus Akodi Ebo, Suram Adubello, the Premier of the Northern Region, and several high-ranking military officers. Following the coup, General Aguiyi Aronsi assumed power. However, on July 29, 1966, a counter-coup led by Northern officers overthrew the Aronsi government, resulting in Aronsi's death. Colonel Yakubu Goen then assumed control of the country. On July 29, 1975, another coup ended Yakubu Goen's nine-year rule while he was attending the OAU summit in Kampala, Uganda. General Murtala Muhammad, the leader of the coup, took over as the head of state. However, his leadership was cut short when he was assassinated in an attempted coup, led by Lt. Col. Bukasuka Dimka on February 13, 1975. General Alius Ganabas Anjo, the next in command, assumed the role of head of state. Ultimately, General Alius Ganabas Anjo handed over power to a democratically elected government led by President Shehu Shigari on October 1, 1979. On December 31, 1983, a coup led by General Muhammad Buhari terminated the civilian government. General Ibrahim Babangida, who served as chief of staff to Muhammad Buhari, assumed the presidency on August 27, 1985. In December 1985, an unsuccessful coup led by the late General Mama Vatsa took place. Another unsuccessful coup was led by Major Gideon Orca in April 1990. Babangida retired from the army after handing over power in 1993 and established an interim government with Chief Ernest Shonikin as the head of state. However, General Abacha dismissed the interim government and assumed the position of military head of state. Abacha passed away on June 8, 1998, and was succeeded by General Abdulsalam Abubaker, who eventually handed over power to a democratically elected president on May 29, 1999. Reasons for Military Intervention in Politics 1. Uncertainty in the process of changing political leadership can prompt military intervention. 2. Politicization of the army. 3. Nepotism, tribalism, and favoritism lead to a perversion of justice. 4. Regional differences and acute crises that require direct assumption of power. 5. Mismanagement of the national economy, as seen during Al Haji Shehu Shigari's administration. 6. Corruption and abuse of office by political leaders in the First and Second Republics. 7. Poor handling of census exercises, such as the ones in Nigeria in 1962 and 1963. 8. Lack of free and fair elections, exemplified by the Western Nigeria election of 1965. 9. The desire of Nigerian leaders to retain power indefinitely and become life presidents. 10. Ineffective governance and administration in Nigeria, which have contributed to frequent coups in the country. Achievements of military regimes in Nigeria. 1. Preservation of the unity of Nigeria through the civil war fought to maintain. National unity. 2. Infrastructural development, including the construction of roads, bridges, airports, and the establishment of institutions. 3. The creation of more states, allowing different ethnic groups in the country to exercise self-determination. 4. The establishment of the National Youth Service Corps, NISC, to foster unity among diverse ethnic groups. 5. Positive changes in Nigeria's foreign policy under military rule. 6. 
The formation of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, by General Goen and Ayadima. 7. Implementation of changes in driving patterns, such as the switch to driving on the right side of the road on April 2, 1972. 8. Creation of a new federal capital territory, as initiated by the Murtala Abbasanjo Military Administration. 9. Establishment of teaching hospitals, polytechnics, colleges of education, and universities. Summary. 1. The officers killed during the first bloody military coup in Nigeria included Prime Minister Al-Haji Tafawa Baliwa, Premier of the Western Region S. L. Akintola, Minister of Finance Chief Festus Akodi Ebo, Suram Adubello, Premier of the Northern Region, and several other high-ranking military officers. 2. Bad administration has contributed to military intervention in politics due to factors such as mismanagement of the economy, corruption and abuse of office by political leaders, lack of free and fair elections, and ineffective governance, all of which have led to dissatisfaction and a perceived need for military intervention.